And I want to just ask you briefly about on the fentanyl yeah. question. I think parents, I'm one, feel sort of powerless here. It's scary. You know, this one pill can kill. You're hearing these nightmare stories about kids getting something delivered via social media and a delivery app shows up and their parents find them dead in their bedrooms. Kids overdosing at school. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you've warned about something that looks like a Tic Tac can be a pill. What, what advice do you have as a public health official, the top public health official in the state, to families, to parents, to those who are concerned about this? Well, first of all, just like you, I'm a parent as well, right? So the number one thing that my wife and I talk about every single day is the health and safety of our kids. And that extends to every kid in, in the, you know, the state of Washington. So I think, I think you're right. The first and foremost thing is to have that relationship with your child, right? Where your child is, is willing to, they trust you. They're, they're, they're willing to talk to you about what's happening at school. They're willing to talk to you about, well, one of their students, their fellow students is doing. They're willing to tell you that, hey, there's some sharing that's going on here. So I think having the conversation is the most important thing. But we have a number of uh, pieces of information that we have, both in terms of media campaigns, but also on our websites that allow parents to have specific understanding of what could potentially be happening. And there's also, as I mentioned earlier, this education campaign that with you know the uh, OSPI, the you know the Office the, of State Superintendent. The, State yeah, yeah. Exactly. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, as well as uh, Healthcare Authority and Department of Health are working together on. That's going to be launching, and, and you know the the it, it, the funding has just come through. Yeah, right. So that's going to be launching. That doesn't mean that we do not have education happening in our schools. We do. In fact, schools are such an important area of this. So the the key to the message to parents, fellow parents, is know what's happening in your kids' lives. Talk to them. Make sure you're, you have a good relationship where they trust you. And when it's scary, talk to somebody that you may need to get information from, whether it's a, it's a crisis line, whether it's a provider like a healthcare provider, whether it's a teacher or a faculty member or somebody in the school administration. Have the conversation, mm -hmm. but make sure you have it today and on an ongoing basis because you don't want to wait till tomorrow. And the stakes do seem a lot higher than when we were younger. That's right. Well, I mean, this is, this is the synthetic nature of fentanyl that is so concerning to all of us. Yeah. Again, before it would be, you know, you, you would need multiple doses of something or a lot of right. something. This is just a small amount, and that can put you into trouble right, right away. You can check out the rest of the show by clicking on the link below or by watching Inside Olympia Thursday evenings at 7 and 10.